Okay. He's bored um, of me. I'm not bored of you. He's not That's even right. liking the first I never liked you in the first place. Next, we have someone that understands about being fucking prop rad over by the television, right? This is the head of the Chelsea Headhunters. You'll all remember him off the McIntyre programme. Jason Mariner. Where are you, Jason? <laughs> Someone done it to make a television fucking programme. Right? That McIntyre pretended to be this, 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 and fitted him up, lived with him for a fucking year, and put the cunt in prison. Not because he's a copper, because he wanted to make a telly programme. That is fucking out of order. I mean, Jason Mariner, tell your story. I got one. Anyway, next. Got <laughs> to bring one out? No. Uh, no, listen, uh, guys who lived next door to me for 18 months, secretly filming me. Spent £300,000 and made a documentary. You know, there was 344 hours worth of video footage. You know, uh, they showed an hour. They showed an hour on, on the BBC One prime time. Nine o'clock, quite handy, you know, because I beat EastEnders that night, seven and a half million viewers. Who um, <laughs> the fuck wants to watch them? Can't say EastEnders. Well, you know that? what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> 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 took one in Reggie, all fucking took one in Reggie's on his dog for a walk, couldn't they? <laughs> Cunts. Anyway, um, so, you know, uh, you know, if they think I'm fucking good enough to make a documentary about, thank you very much, because I'm making a few quid now, good night. Um, but, you know, it, listen, I'm just fucking sport Chelsea, you know what I mean? I was just a kid off the street, you know, duck and dive, bob and weave. You know, I've done the same thing with the door work myself, you know, they asked me to work the doors at Chelsea because it stops the Herberts coming in, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? You know, like, if you're at West Ham or if you're at Chelsea, you work the doors because, you know, you know who's who and... Where'd they get the name here, Andrews? Where's that? Uh, do you know what? I'd be lying if I know it's fucking good, though, innit? <laughs> I don't know it to be true, but... Uh, um, <laughs> take the swimming cap off when you talk to me. Um, so, uh, uh, so, oh, that's funny. <laughs> We're special needs. Yeah. That is funny. <laughs> What's this? You can't walk up. Yeah. Oh, so you're you're pretty pretty up. <laughs> I've been a bit here now. What's he had on that leader cup? <laughs> Um, you know, so I don't know. I mean, everyone like, had, had their name, Bill, had Bush, Bushwhackers, ICF, obviously, because of the inner city firm. Tottenham, because of That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> fucking real with dyslexia over there. I had to go to a J dealer. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be lucky to spell it. Um, Did you get any egg doing your bird? Yeah. Being, being a, a well known Chelsea thing or like, you know, did that be in the prison? I know, I definitely did, because I know the people that was in there, West Ham fans. Was no, I had one, yeah, I had yeah, one yeah. thing yeah. with one West Ham yeah. user. Um, but it's funny. It wasn't really doing the thought, was it? Was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but it was, uh, no, it was one West Ham user, but typical, I always have a fucking thing with West Ham. Cunts. Mate, I've nearly run out. Hi. Honestly, if you want to get a double, I've nearly run out. Two steps, you'll be going to the ice rings as long as the milk round there comes, isn't it? Have you seen what's ready, Crunch? No, but um, but no, I did. I tell you what, what to say, 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 I told you, you never knew this. Miss Far got to know Jason, become very, very good friends with him, and um, we're very, very similar. Just cut the boys who support team, you know, but our lives have gone blah blah blah, and we're today. And like we said earlier, we are very similar. It's all about your team, but it doesn't mean you ain't the same person. I. The, the fellow was in there, I hadn't spoken to him really for years, and I, he grew up with me, and um, he actually sent a VO, wanted me to go up, this is true, if I told him, mm. with another West Ham boy, so that he knew, that he, he, so he could see me on the visit with this fella to put the thing up him, and that, that's true, yeah. you never knew that, and I, I didn't go for that reason, because it was wrong. The geezer had been set up, he was doing this bit of bird, there was a load of bollocks, and I felt sorry for him, and it was wrong. Not, not what was going on in there, I was about no. what happened to you, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the truth of the matter. But what happened was, to be truthful, I come up with a visit, I was like, I was in a, I think I was in a sea cat, and so I was, I was leaning over the balcony, I was just kind of, I was leaning over the landing. Geezer come up to me, we're nice, and all that Chelsea, I've been there fucking nine months, <laughs> mate, I thought, fucking, what, want to get nicked with him, the cunt, I mean, he don't even know I've been there, you know what I mean, fucking hell, what a brainy cunt he was, he's anyway, he's come up to me, he went to me, 
He said, uh, you're that Joe Samara? And I went, yeah. He said, I'm always looking, you know, I'll still get out now on the penny, you know what I mean, on the street or whatever. So I went, yeah. So he said to me, uh, he said, yeah, I don't know what you read in the book. He said, about fucking running me down the road and this, that, and the other. I said, it would be fucking very hard, mate. I ain't read a book. <laughs> anyway, I hope now it's called something again. No, anyway, um, but, but I haven't read a book. You've got to talk a bit slower for these. Well, I'm just thinking, right what are you saying? You can you understand me? <laughs> but sorry, I'll talk a bit slower. Christy Gear at Howard. <laughs> <laughs> From that, no, I never, to be honest. Look, when, what happens? I um, obviously, uh, I'll tell the story, right? Obviously, the scenario was I got set up, right? But I wanted to tell you a couple of things, right? Because there obviously is some good lads, there's some good football supporters, it doesn't matter what you're involved with, it's football selling a bit of gear, snide clothes, or fucking lamp chains. It doesn't matter if they want you, they want you. They lived next door to me for 18 months. Not two minutes, 18 fucking months. McIntyre, I met McIntyre 25 times in 18 months. There was another geezer called Paul Atkinson, a couple of tree calls, you know, they slip the birds in the air, they slip the geezers in the air, this, that, and the other. And, and, uh. Slip the geezers in the air. As long as we're the birds with me. It's birds with cocks. Yeah. Well, that ain't so bad, as long as I'm the fucking plug and not the socket, that ain't so bad, is it? Right, but, um. Listen, you can't six years, what was you doing? You know what I mean? Keep getting not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I just want people to be aware. Because let me say, that's why I do these shows. Well, actually, because you got me in the tournament. And we'll get on to that in a minute. We won't play too much. Talk about that, mate. Yeah, me, me, me. <laughs> right? Is but, that um, a it's my fucking show, oh, yeah. Thanks for having me cover, Dave. Thanks, Dad. Shall we pay you? <laughs> so, I'll um, just put in this story here a minute, right? I'll tell you how I met this cunt. Because <laughs> <in the dinner. laughs> right? I'm sitting here trying to do that, and I just actually want to go and not, and I'm not throwing that over his mind. Right? I was working for Front Magazine. Yeah. He's been banned from every fucking football pitch in fucking the world, right? A friend of mine, so I'm, I'm working for the magazine, I can get free tickets for the fucking Wembley thing. So he went, me and my mate Jason are coming. I can put, and if, I, if he pretended he was a raspberry in a fucking wheelchair, he's allowed one raspberry, <laughs> one bloke to push it, and me from the magazine. So, so I said, yeah, all right, cool. Fucking done a moody fucking a moody competition. They come, everyone wrote in, I went, he won it. So now he's in it. So look, he's got him in the fucking wheelchair. Don't, it ain't fucking funny, really. It's him in the wheelchair with a blanket over him as his mate pushed him down a bit. So walking up towards the old fucking Wembley, he's like, Dribbling away like, like, like he does. <laughs> you know? All of a sudden, it all yeah, kicked way, off, it all yeah. kicked off, and the two of them jumped out of the chair, right? Just ran over and came fucking laying in the people. I was like, oh. I had the hardest cripple you'd ever fucking see. <laughs> and then, when all the police are coming, they've got running backs, and behind them, they've got. I've got dodgy Scotch eggs, and I'm the old lid for all That's how I met the cunt, that's how I met the cunt. He's going, push me, Dave, push me. How long have you been banned from football? Oh, he gets fucking years. lifted. The first game is no, let, at Chelsea Stadium. Yeah. Like, this year, he's banned the ten year ban finished. No, the ten year ban finished on a Sunday. That's true. As it happens, I had a fucking I had a show. The show got cancelled because of the old bill, pulled the plug on it, right? Don't want that cunt here. Boom, 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 lovely. But that's a, that's a compliment deep down, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, cunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I've gone to Chelsea West Ham. Four days I've been off the band. Four days. Sure has got my little green apples, I've got nicked. <laughs> so I went to court this morning anyway, gosh, sure, all that's on here. But um, no, well, I just want to get back to, to, to going back to the scenario with the McIntyre turn out. Right, am I getting your board? No, I've got your board. Such a fucking snipe. You're just going to be fucking Chelsea, yeah. I'm going to be a board, this isn't a Chelsea so, fan. So, uh, no, because people must understand this, because this could happen to me. This could happen to me. Uh, you know, this could happen to anyone. What are you saying to you? Once the police are into you. Well, the, the other thing is this, though, right? And I, I, I seriously, I, I hate smackheads, I hate junkies, I can't stand past monkeys and what have you. But when I, I remember talking to a kid on the op plate once when I was in Wandsworth, and he said to me, What happened to you, Jason? He said, Happened to me. Now, I've got six years, so I met loads of people during the course that that happens. But the difference being is it was the old bill that got into them. This geezer, this junkie, who, who, who made no bones about fucking being a smackhead, so I didn't mind talking to him, you know what I mean? You know, like the other ones. Oh, don't do it. I don't, it's only a prison thing. Oh, I've got hundreds of 
thousands of pounds, couldn't he match his mate? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Ain't got two eighties to rub together. Anyway, move along the bus. So, um, I, so, so I, said to, I, I said to this geezer, I said, are you sure? And I bet he said, listen, Jase, he said, this geezer, he said, this geezer was around me for six, seven months. He said, one day, he said, I made him take gear in front of me. And then he swore blind, he said, this geezer took it. He said, he was Cosa. It was old Bill. But it don't surprise me. The amount of people, the amount of old Bill that do sit there serving a bit of gear, boom, 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 boom. in this country, there's no agent provocateur, there's no entrapment, which is an outrageous fucking liberty. Do you know what I mean? They can serve you a bit of gear. See, the BBC, which people don't know, offered me 20 kilos of cocaine. They offered me 20 cars at £5,000 a car to drive from one part of London to another part of London and fill up with dope. Because I was in with a big time underworld and I was doing this and I was doing that. But they couldn't get into me and they spent X amount of money on me and they had to make a documentary out of me. So uh, they've, they've come up with whatever they've come up with. And uh, I've got six years, which, to be fair, weren't that bad because I got out on a Tuesday. No. <laughs> um, um, but, you know, it can, it can happen to a fucking... You know, it happens every single day of the week. It happened to my pals not long ago. They had a... They, had a, um, uh, 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 they kept... They was nicking gear. And they, they set up a shop. They opened a fucking shop, these old people. They, they were selling gear to them every single fucking day. Bang! And then they raided them. Smash the circuit of them and what have you, and you know, but that's all right, that's all right for them to do it, but ain't all right for us to do it, you know. I've had, in my, my, my house, I've had, um, they spend about £2 million a year on, on, on a warrant on Dave Courtney and Associates, and my home, my car, and my phone is, is, all, is all bugged. And the last time I had my house swept, which was about 12 weeks ago, my old woman's in, sitting out there somewhere, right? Um, I found five monitoring devices in my house. By two of them, the battery had run out, but five monitoring devices in my house. Right? One in the bedroom. Alf, listen. That's where the batteries had run out. Forget all the uh, get all the gangster chat that they hear in the kitchen. They mm. heard me wanking, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, but it was my day, my day. <laughs> right, so you know, you have to um, you have to actually have someone close to you and get caught with that to actually not, like, you know, they're playing every single phone call you've made over the last three years. They've got all of that, you know what I mean? No, like you can't, you can't the phone you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but oh, it's I'm going to end though. up setting like of his fucking tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's naughty, man. No, it's a liberty, it's, it's outrageous. Listen, you sit up here and you fucking laugh and joke about it because we're strong characters. And this, that, uh, and the other, and you fucking, you've got to move on with it. But it is an outrageous liberty. I mean, if there ain't old Bill in here today, tonight, I'm fucking slim. Yeah. Of course, there's old Bill. So fuck off with your glasses.